What's up guys? So we're heading into part three of this tutorial on the new desktop dashboard. And I wanna walk you through some kind of, a little bit deeper dive, right? So now we're gonna get into a little bit more of the technical side of things of adding users, affecting their permissions, doing things like location categories and managing that, right? setting up checkout desk positions, right? So if you wanna set it up to where you can mark a car that has a dead battery or that's going off to a third party vendor or whatever that case may be, uh, I'm gonna show you how to set up those custom choices. And then of course, taking a look at a system health check, right? How do I quickly take a glance at my network and make sure that it's up and running correctly? So that if I'm running into an issue of maybe a key or car showing up kind of in a funky spot, well, maybe it just happens to be that one of the gateways has gone down because you had a big storm or something of that nature. How can I check that fast, right? So let's hop on in. All right guys, so here we are on the desktop dashboard. That's right, lm360.truespot.com. And I wanna walk you through some things, right? So it's all gonna be primarily in the back office because now we're getting to the technical side of things, which if you go to the top right corner, there's gonna be something labeled dashboard and you can click on that and go down to back office. Now when you get to back office for Anybody who's gonna be an admin, who's gonna be adding uh, users, this is immediately where it's gonna take you, right? So if you need to remove a user ever because someone leaves, all you gotta do is hover over their name and simply click on the X and you'll remove that person. Uh, to create, there's a button right up at the top, create. So let's create a user, right? Click create and then it's gonna ask for a name and email and a password that you're gonna create. So we're gonna go with a nice lady named Blanche Devereaux. Maybe you've heard of her, maybe you haven't. If not, you can Google her. Uh, and, and we're gonna make her password, mm, well actually let's put in her email first. So it's gonna be blanche.devereaux at truespot.com. Uh, and then I'm gonna get her set up with a password, right? So I drop in her password. And now, if she's just gonna be a standard user, right? One of your regular guys who just needs to run searches, I don't need to click on anything. She'll be able to re run searches and find keys and find cars uh, if you're tracking both. Now, if you want her to be able to, let's say, manage login, she's gonna be one of your sales managers. Well, it's simple enough, guys. All I gotta do is click that manage logins. Right, come down and I can pick what I want her to be able to do. So for those people that you wanna set up to be able to pair tags, right? So probably gonna do a uh, vehicle manual entries too, meaning that they can not only pair tags as cars come off a truck, but if a trade comes in and it isn't my inventory feed yet and I wanna make it a manual entry until it lands in my feed, then I want vehicle manual entries as well. Now, the one below this photographer. So if I click on this one, I'm gonna remind you that when they go to the dashboard, so let me flip over here, all they're gonna be able to see, they're not gonna get any of this info up here. All they're gonna get is this last one, this photo status. So it's simply gonna show them what vehicles they need to take pictures of, which can be kind of limiting. So just be very careful if you plan to use this one. Understand that it limits quite a bit to what they can do and see. Now, the rest of these, uh, my recon users, this is gonna play if you're using the recon tool that we offer. All right, so tree recon uh, and then missing vehicle alerts. So if I collect this tab, what it's gonna do is each morning at 7 a.m. they will get an email uh, with vehicles that haven't been seen in a amount of time that you can actually determine. Uh, where you can notate that is on here on the dashboard. If I came across and go to last sightings, uh, I'll have inventory and keys right here. Um, so this is where like we have we have generated some thresholds of time uh, and then you could select one and if you wanted to receive emails, you'd simply add this to a person uh, and they would receive that. So great for like sales managers who come in in the morning and they can check on vehicles that have been uh, missing for a little while to make sure you don't have potential theft. Right, motion detection alerts. If you are using tags that have motion detection, this is gonna play a role. Same thing with OBD2 devices. If you are using those devices, this may play a role. Right, so this is where you're gonna add your permissions and create someone, excuse me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this out. Blanche, sorry, I'm not gonna add you today. Uh, now, as we come across here, the next thing I wanna touch on is, is pretty important, and that's just, let's talk about system health, right? How can I quickly view the entire network and understand if we just went through a big power storm, hey, I don't know if anything got knocked off or went down, just to be able to check and let, obviously, the uh, back of house team know in case we need to replace something for you, right? So down at the very bottom on the left over here, system health. If I click on that, it will present me with any gateway that's currently offline, and then it'll show me all the ones that are online as well. To this, it's always gonna place those offline ones at the very top, so if you need to check on them, you'll be able to see them quickly, right? So that's how you can quickly check on all the gateways to make sure they're up and running, because if more than one of what happened went go down, that's when you might notice that a key or a car is showing in a little bit different location than it actually lives, because we're now losing out on some of that coverage, right? Now, related to coverage, let's talk about that. So up at the top, the second one down, location categories. This is where you can determine the, the groupings that you want. Now to explain that, right? So they've got main campus service, Mannheim, and vendor. So if I jump back over to their map, uh, and I scroll across here, I'll explain kind of the differences between two categories here. So location of inventory, right? This is gonna show me like every single gated off area, every geofenced off area, which can be helpful, but it's, it's very specific, right? I want something a little bit more vague. So if I come across here to location categories, uh, now I can say, hey, on the main campus, so this large big box right here, I have 473 vehicles, 
right? In service over here, these, uh, if I scroll down here, these three uh, geofences right here, I've got 12 vehicles. Over at Mannheim, I've got one vehicle right now. And then uncategorized, which would be off campus, I have eight, right? So this is how I can kind of uh, make a larger grouping of a collection of gateways, right? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, so that's what you're seeing here if you ever need to create one or remove one uh, because your your your, uh, your dealership is changing or you're adding, you bought some land, we're adding on, you know, uh, uh, an off-site premise lot or whatever you want to do. This is where we're going to do that from. Now, location management underneath. Uh, this is where you can come in and now I can select and do uh, specific areas. So this way I can understand what's going on inside of one. So I'm going to back out of that. So this way you kind of have some basic understanding. For the most part, if you're ever concerned about this or things need to be changed, know that you can always call us. We'd be more than happy to do it. But I want you to know that if this is something you're technically minded and can handle this, you have it available to you. Now, gateway management, this is where I can come in here and it'll show me where all the gateways are living uh, on the campus. So I can zoom, zoom in, zoom out, and I can see every single gateway that's living on this campus. So if I'm ever uh, concerned about coverage, I could look at this and go, oh, okay, well, I've got plenty of coverage here versus maybe there's less over here because we just want to know if there are cars there versus know exactly where that car is at, uh, you know, in that area, right? But this will give you a general overview to what you are using, right? So you've got all these different sections out here. Now, check out this positions, this next one down. This is gonna be related to when I jump into a vehicle. So let's jump over here uh, and say I jump into this Acura right here. Uh, and I'm in this Acura and I wanna mark something going on with it. Well, I can go one more down to vehicle activity. Uh, and this is where I'm gonna have these two little bitty buttons up here. I've got you know two different checkout buttons, right? So if I need to tag somebody, I have the first button. And then the second button is a checkout button. Now the checkout button is gonna allow me to select a disposition, right? So that disposition may be, hey, I'm test driving this car right now, right? So if they run a report, they'll be able to see all the cars are being test driven, or hey, I'm taking it off site to the uh, tent shop, right? They didn't set up a, a geofence and, and you know, uh, the network over there, but this way we can notate that the car is going over there. Now, when you click on this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna notate that so that when I'm over here, I will be able to see it. Uh, right, so I can see if there's something going on this car. It'll notate it with a red checkout mark and red down below it. So that way you can understand. So creating those, right, if you need to create one or remove one, right, I can come up here and just simply hover over it, hit the X to delete it. Or if I need to create one, I've got a create button right at the top, right? So if you add on a new vendor and you want to be able to notate when cars are going over there, absolutely come in here, hit create, add that. And that way, when you want to take a car over there, you can notate it in the system. And that way you'll be able to run a report and say, oh, I've got five cars sitting over there right now. Easy enough. So that is checkout dispositions. Vehicle alerts configuration, don't need to worry about that right now. That is a pilot program that I'm setting up, so not much to look at. Uh, and then system health was the last thing that we talked about so that you can understand, hey, do I have any gateways that are down right now? Uh, and then all my gateways that are currently on. All right, guys, so hopefully that helps you out as far as understanding the back end of the lot management tool, as far as adding users, you know, checking your system's health, and then all the other different things that we can do as far as creating categories and then subcategories in there as far as looking into geofences and where they live. Uh, and then, of course, all the gateways that make up that geofence. Uh, if you ever have questions, comments, concerns, you can always give me a call, text, email. I am here to help you along with the rest of the team. Uh, all of my contact info will be up at the end of the screen. Look forward to hearing from you. Hope you're doing well. Later, guys! Okay.